Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. <clears throat> there we go, we're clearing out the throat, we're good, we're ready to go. <clears throat> and, uh, sorry about that. Here we are. It's, uh, sundown. Or you can pretend it's sunrise, you know, whatever you want to do. I guess I just told it like it is, but you can pretend I'm here at, like, 5 a.m., and I somehow found a Popeyes that's serving this that early. I'm having chicken for breakfast, or, uh, you know, maybe it's just, you know, late afternoon, early evening. That could be, that could be it as well. Um, but no, it's very pleasant outside. It's pleasant. Uh, there were some thunderstorms that passed through earlier, and now everything's nice and cool. And, uh, yeah, just taking in the, uh, the sunset, and, uh, hopefully with some good chicken as well, right? Don't they say they, they, they love that chicken from Popeyes, so will I be loving this? We'll, we'll find out. I don't know if that's even the uh, motto there. I might just be completely wrong, but either way. Popeyes has, um, they kind of brought back this item. They had it originally back in 2017, and now they're bringing it back, right? They're, they're resurrecting it. And believe it or not, I would say like maybe a week and a half ago, I actually had a dream about this, because I was kind of, I was reading about it, I was kind of looking it up, and it came to me in a dream. I had a dream, kind of like this thunderstorm that hit earlier, uh, you know, it had the dark clouds coming in, and it started raining. But it wasn't rain that was coming down. It was their hot honey sauce. And, you know, it had that kind of, like, reddish, uh, orange hue, and it was just, like, coming down in giant globs from the sky. And for, like, five minutes, it was paradise. Uh, I went out, you know, full suit. I didn't care. Uh, I was, you know, lapping it up. I was sipping it out of the puddles and everything. Um, but then after about five minutes, I started considering, you know, the environmental implications of this. And that's where it all started going downhill, but it was a fascinating one, all right. Uh, but needless to say, it is not raining down from the sky, but in this glorious, uh, glorious usage of words, it was raining down on the chicken in the kitchen when they were preparing this. Oh, that's, that's pure genius right there. <laughs> yeah, today we're going out with the uh, Popeye's Hot Honey uh, Bone-In Chicken. So here's what it is. Again, it was back in 2017. They originally had it. It's a hot honey sauce. Um, so it's supposed to be spicy but sweet with a little bit of a tanginess to it as well. Uh, price for this. It's a box, a box deal, which they do. They're pretty good price-wise. They have these good, affordable deals. Uh, for five bucks, you get two pieces of chicken, a biscuit, and a side. And... Um, Again, it's drizzled with that tangy, hot honey sauce. So, here's what we got. Uh, by the way, you can you can get white meat chicken or dark meat chicken. All right, so you can choose. Uh, they always advertise the dark meat chicken. I, I believe it's like the uh, leg and the thigh. So that's what I went with because that's just what's advertised. That I think is what they really, you know, it's like what they're promoting. I always try to go with like what they advertise, what's in the picture, you know, so on and so forth ice cubes, and that is water, that's not blue Gatorade, so you could pretend it is, I don't care. There is a, um, Popeye's bag with some mysterious inscriptions on it, and you can see you have this funnel right here with lots of little knobs. I guess that's like a type of, I don't know, a straw or something you could, you know, sip that cool drink with, right, as your, um, that's a UFO right there. Right, that's a flying saucer. Um, I guess that's like a walking stick right there. And uh, lots of cool things, you know, you can kind of have fun with this. You look at this all day and you'll always see something new. Popeyes. Now there's an empty bag. Love that chicken. Okay, well we were. We're right. And uh, there's the Popeyes flag for world domination. And now we got our chicken. Alrighty. You can see I just went with the standard fries, you know, and all that good stuff. Um, let's get this in a, a thumbnail shot real quick for you. You know, you know what I do. Uh, there's the close-up on the box. You can see that honey, uh, that hot honey chicken, the uh, glaze on it. And let's take this piece of chicken out. Alright, you can see there is the leg, okay, you can actually see some glaze on my fingers already, 
and then here is the other cut as well. You can see it's not totally drenched in the sauce, um, but you can definitely see that it is kind of, you know, delicately glazed on. Uh, similar to that buffalo, those buffalo chicken tenders, I think it was, that we tried out from them like a month ago or so. Similar to that, where it's like glazed on. There's parts of it that won't have any coverage of the sauce, but uh, overall that's what we've got. So we know what it is. We know um, what there is to it. It's pretty basic. Hey, let's try it out. So it is the hot honey bone-in chicken from Popeyes going in. I think I did a satisfactory job of uh, at least, you know, trying it out and seeing what it tastes like. Um, of course, really, we just want to see how the sauce works out, but also the chicken, of course. you got to know, um, you know, the sauce obviously is the focal point of this dish, but the chicken has to be good, too. It's like, I get it if the chicken's terrible, but the sauce is good, and vice versa. You know, you get a really good chicken, but awful sauce. You know, they both have to be decent, um, but obviously it's the sauce that's the focal point here. And, you know, hopefully the way I ate it wasn't too bothersome. I know I kind of, you know, picked at it a little bit. Uh, I know some people, you know, they eat it where it's like kind of in the cartoons, you know, they, they you know, hold it up from the base. And then, you know, they stick the whole thing in their mouth. And then when they pull it out, you know, it's just the bone. Um, I'm sorry I don't eat it that way, but I think I was able to get a good uh, taste of it. Uh, here's what we've got. The most abridged version of this analysis possible is that number one it's good I like it and I would recommend you get it but there is one stipulation that being it's not spicy it's tasty I like it to tell you the truth I'll get it again uh, completely I, I thought it was actually pretty good chicken quality is good uh, you could definitely see that the chicken by no means was tough it was not tough it was not dry uh, it was really juicy, it was really tender, really flavorful. Uh, you can see I was just able to really get it right off the bone there. Uh, really good, I mean, this is good quality chicken. This is probably one of the best, uh, probably drumsticks from, you know, from Popeyes that I've had in a while. And I'm not even, I'm not even saying that to exaggerate. This is, uh, it's a legitimately good one that I got today. It was really good. So the chicken quality, uh, definite thumbs up on that. Popeyes is, is doing good today. Uh, I like that little bit of a crisp, you know, that... Yeah, crispy, crunchy breading that it's got on it as well. That always works. Uh, Popeye's has decent chicken. As for the sauce, okay, here's what I notice. They describe it, oh shoot. All right, you're, I'm gonna have to get up, excuse me for a moment. I know, I gotta do some cleaning. Uh, it's drizzled in tangy hot honey sauce. So they describe this as tangy, uh, sweet, and then spicy. And here's the problem. I neither really noticed any sort of pronounced spice to it. There's a little bit of a tang and a definite sweetness. I can really sense where they're getting that honey, of course, in it. It, it, it does. It's like a honey-based sauce, and I could really taste that sweetness and the stickiness that it kind of leaves. So absolutely, I totally understand that. Um, there's a little bit of a tang 
but the spiciness is extremely mild. Here's a, you know, piece of the breading with the sauce on it. You know. Taste that tang. Taste that honey-esque sweetness. And a tiny little bit of spice. Like, for me, what I would say is eating that directly, okay? Now, maybe it's like a delayed onset. And in like a minute or two, I'm just gonna go in like a full, you know, Olympic sprint and go through there and smash through that and into the, the water. The uh, camera ran out of memory, so I just had to restart it real quick, but uh, just finishing the analysis, uh, like I was saying, it's it's got that tang and it's got that sweetness, but I wish it was a little spicier. Um, so it's really more of a sweet sauce as opposed to just an incredibly, you know, hot, spicy sauce. But nonetheless, it's still really good. I like it. But for those of you, I think, who might be expecting more of a kick out of it, you know, who like eating hot wings and hot peppers and uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? You might be a little let down that it's not as spicy as you hope for it to be. So just don't get it, you know, with the expectation that it's going to set your mouth on, on fire, metaphorically speaking. Um, but overall, it's good. I enjoy it. And just keep that in mind. It's still, it's still really good. So out of 10, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 just because of the quality. Um, but other than that, again, I think I wish it would be a little spicier. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Thanks for watching. Be safe, be healthy, and do take care. That's all for now.